Club of Southport, Oak Island, and I'm going to be reading a story today. It's called Share Some Kindness, Bring Some Light, and it's written by April Stott, who also um, drew all of the pictures for the book. I hope you enjoy it. Share Some Kindness, Bring Some Light. Coco and Bear were friends from almost the first time they met. They were very different. Bear was big, Coco was small. Bear was shy, Coco was brave. But they were exactly alike in the most important way. I like that you're kind, said Coco. That's my favorite thing about you too, said Bear. I also like that you're such a good dancer, said Coco. I wish the animals knew all the good things that you know about me, sighed Bear. They don't, asked Coco. They say that I must be mean, because I'm so big, and some of them are afraid of me. Noodle strudel, said Coco in disbelief. Yeah, said Bear, sniffling. Coco gave Bear a big, tight hug, because that's what made her feel better whenever she was sad. After Bear got some of his sadness out, Coco said, my grandma always says, when life gets dark as winter's night, share some kindness, bring some light. If we can do that, maybe the other animals will see what a good, kind bear you are. But how do you share kindness, asked Bear. Coco thought a moment. I think kindness must be something that you give away, like a gift. We can bake cookies to share, suggested Bear. Yeah, agreed Coco. But how do we bring light, asked Bear. Let's make lanterns, said Coco. They're so cozy. I have supplies in my cave that we can use, offered Bear. Here they're making all their cookies and their lanterns. And it looks like a lot of fun, don't you think? When they were finished, they loaded up Bear's sled with all their gifts. Ready, asked Coco. Bear nodded. Ready. But then he whispered, and a little scared. It's okay to be scared, said Coco, so long as you don't let the scariness stop you from sharing kindness and bringing light. Their first stop was Badger's house. Badger was not impressed. I only eat cookies with worms in them, he said grumpily. Would you like a lantern instead, asked Bear. How am I supposed to sleep all day with that light in here, said Badger. No, thank you. Next, they tried Rabbit's house. Why would you bring me gifts, asked Rabbit. We want to show you how kind my friend Bear is, said Coco, hopefully. What if you're trying to trick me? The big Bear wouldn't want to be friends with a small rabbit like me. No, thank you. They didn't have much luck with Hedgehog. Or Skunk, either. I'm ready for a break, sighed Bear. Maybe we need to make some different gifts and try again tomorrow, said Coco. The walk home was cold, and the only sound was the crunch of paws and boots through snow until Did you hear that, asked Bear? It's coming from over there, said Coco, pointing. She leaped off the path and floomp. Quick, climb on my back, said Bear. Help, came the cry again. Why, it's baby deer, said Coco. What are you doing way out here, she asked. I went on an adventure, said Baby Deer, shivering. Oh, we love adventures, said Bear. I do too, said Baby Deer, but now I'm stuck. Don't be afraid, said Coco. We can help you. How, asked Baby Deer. You can ride on my back too, said Bear. Baby Deer, Baby Deer, where are you? The animals cried as they searched. I am, said, shouted Baby Deer. I got stuck in the snow, but Coco and Bear found me. 
They gave me a ride home. Oh, thank you, said Mama dear. Wow, good thing Bear is so big, exclaimed Rabbit. And brave, said Hedgehog. And friendly, added Skunk. I guess he is a kind bear, grumbled Badger. Bear, did you hear that? They finally figured out that you're kind, exclaimed Coco. But I don't understand, said Bear. They didn't want our cook cookies or lanterns. Your lanterns came in handy after all. But helping Baby Deer showed how kind you really are, explained Mama Deer. But we just helped because it was the right thing to do, said Coco. Exactly, said Mama Deer. I guess kindness is about giving away love instead of gifts, said Bear. It's doing something nice without expecting to get anything in return. Coco looked up at the stars. I think I get it now. Get what, asked Bear. When life gets dark as winter's night, share some kindness, bring some light. Coco grinned and started tapping her foot. But Bear, there's one more thing that the others still don't know about you. He likes to dance. <laughs> That was the end of the story. I'm Evelyn, I'm, I'm with the Kiwanis Club of Southport Oak Island. Thanks for joining me at the Reading Corner with the book, Share Some Kindness, Bring Some Light by April Stott. She also drew the pictures for the book. Have a good day and happy holidays.